Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I have a Bath & Body Works empties and I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and show you guys what I have. So the first candle that I have here is this Strawberry Mimosa Scented Candle. The description on this one says uh, Juicy Wild Strawberry Effer effervescent lemon zest sugar and sugar crystals so this one i heard a lot of hype i heard that it was one of the favorite candles that most people were waiting for but i did notice that it didn't have a strong throw at all i had to basically stand over it and i could barely smell it i'm not exaggerating you guys i burned this to the bottom and i never got a good throw out of it and i'm sure i wasn't the only one because i did see some reviews for this candle and i noticed that they had the same problem with it didn't smell so i would not repurchase this candle ever again and i would describe this then uh, as strawberry mainly but yeah i would not repurchase strawberry mimosa it was a light scent. If you guys are not into really strong, sweet smells, then this would be perfect for people that just like a light scent, a light, sweet scent. So, yeah. But the next candle that I have to show you guys is this Mango Dragon Fruit Candle. This one, the description says, uh, Iceland Mango, Pink Dragon Fruit, Bright Mandarin, and Red Currant. The packaging on this one isn't as cute as some other packagings that I've seen, but... I mean, the candle smell, I could actually smell this one. I would rate this one as a 6 of how strong it did have of a throw. And this one to me just smells mainly like mango and fruity scent, like a fruity scent. This one, I, I would just, I mean, it smells good, but I would not repurchase. I only repurchase candles that I know that I absolutely love and the scent is worth just it just i'm really picky when it comes to candles so it was a good one but i guess i would not repurchase the other candle that i have is winter candy apple candle this one it smells so good it's one of my favorite winter scents and this one the fragrance notes are red apple candied orange maple leaf fresh cinnamon winter rose petals and as you guys have seen my winter hauls that i did during december winter candy apple was one of my favorite scents and i know this one didn't have a strong throw but uh, i would repurchase this is the only candle that i would repurchase that does not have a strong throw um i don't know just because of the scent but yeah it did have a really good burn as you guys can tell it burned all the way to the bottom perfectly but yeah so this was my third candle Moving on to the fourth one is Twisted Peppermint Candle. This one had a really, really strong throw. If I walked down to get something from the kitchen and I came back into my room, it would absolutely smell right away. And yeah, the scent on this one, I would describe it as peppermint, just basically what it's called. And then the fragrance notes on this one are Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Vanilla Buttercream, Fresh Balsam, and Hint of Musk. This one did have a little crazy of a burn. Maybe it was my fault, um, but yeah, I, I would repurchase this one next year, definitely. And the, I have to say the same thing for the fragrance melts. They had amazing throw, so I'm really happy with those as well. So the last candle that I have to show you guys is this watermelon lemonade scented candle. This one had a great throw as well. I would recommend it. Um, I know they have it out now with the spring uh, candles. So this one I would describe as a fruity scent, exactly like what it's described, watermelon and lemonade. And this one had a great burn, I guess you could say, yeah. So yeah, I really love this one. I definitely repurchase. I already have two in my stockpile, so excited to burn those as well. And actually, I have three last mini candles to show so these are the sweater weather candles if you guys um have seen my last hauls or just know me you guys know that sweater weather is one of my absolutely favorite scents that this i would describe the scent as like just fresh um not i don't know i'm really bad at describing scents but i would describe it as a fresh scent this one, the fragrance notes are fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. 
since these were small candles, I did have to burn all three of them together to get um some sort of throw out of them because I know that with one burning by itself, I would probably not get a, a strong throw from them. But really happy with those as well. Now, moving on to my fragrance melts. I got through three and two of them are from Bath & Body Works. These are in the scent Twisted Peppermint. I have to say the same thing with the candle. They had amazing throw. The notes are Cool Peppermint, Sugared Snow, Vanilla Buttercream. You guys know Twisted Peppermint, really good scent. So the last fragrance smell that I have to show is from a different brand. I've heard a lot of good things from Sensational, so I decided to go ahead and try them. And the scent that I got was Pink Velvet, and the description says, A lovely blend of sugar and vanilla. The... The packaging of this is really nice, like the macarons or mac, I don't know how you pronounce them. I've heard different pronunciations for this, but they are so cute and right away I had to get it because of the packaging. And it smelled really good. The only thing is it was a little too overpowering of the sweet scent. So I would repurchase if it didn't, I mean I know I love strong smelling, like just good throws, but I don't know. I was in the middle with this one. Um, I might or might not repurchase this wax cubes, but it was a really good one regardless. So if you guys haven't tried Sensationals, I would definitely recommend trying them. This was my first wax cubes that I got from Sensationals and I have to say I was really impressed. I would definitely be repurchasing from this brand again, just maybe a different scent, but yeah. So, moving on, the next things that I have to show is hand sanitizers. I have four Ocean for Men hand sanitizers. And this this is one of the favorite scents in hand sanitizer. So, this one I would describe as, you know how you walk into Abercrombie and Fitch or Hollister and it smells like a lot like men and fresh, like really good smelling men. That's what I describe this scent. So, like I said, I went through four of them. So, I have them all here. They were really used up, so, yeah. The last hand sanitizer that I have to show you guys is in the scent Gasoline Diamond. This one, um, it did have a, like, a really sweet smell. And as you guys can tell, I didn't really, like, finish it all the way to the bottom. There was a little left over. But I decided I just wouldn't be able to finish it. It was just like uh, really sweet. This was actually a gift from my sister to me. But I don't know. It wasn't my type of scent. But really cute packaging. And it does have glitter. But that is the last hand sanitizer. And I have just four more things to show you guys. So... Uh, one of the fragrance refills that I have already been using is this Eucalyptus Tea Aromatherapy Energy. This one I'm really happy with. It does have a strong throw um, and it's aromatherapy related so it's uh, it works as stress relief as well. And this is one of my favorite scents in candle form, body lotion, and just everything. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So the next thing is the body cream, and this is a winter candy apple body cream. It was really used up as much as I could, as you guys can tell. And this is in the 2015 packaging. So I got through one of the body creams already. Uh, the next thing body related is the Ocean for Men body lotion. My boyfriend actually already used one of these up. And yeah, this is what it looks like. I tried to get as much lotion out of it as I could. And yeah. So this is the last thing. Actually, no, I just have one more thing to show you guys. So I know this isn't exactly a Bath & Body Works empty, but I did go ahead and just put it in here. This is the Just Be Claws Shia Infused Lounge Socks. And I just put it in there randomly because I finally used one of the socks. I take my time with using the Bath & Body Works socks just because they're so nice that I, I'm kind of not afraid, but I like to take my time using one of them at a time. And yeah, 
anyways if you guys enjoyed this bath and body works empties video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel also uh yeah just leave a comment if you guys have any questions or just yeah thank you guys so much for the support and i'll see you in my next video bye guys